I invite you to let that tune be the background in your mind as we enter into a deep time of meditative experience. As we progress deeper into the Lenten season, we express our intention to keep a true Lent. Charles Fillmore tells us in his book, Keep a True Lent, that to walk with Almighty God is to walk with truth and to affirm the power of spirit within mind and body as the dominating mind force. It is to walk in the light and thus to apply in our daily living the wisdom that is from above, acknowledging the Father as the source of all our knowing, as the mainspring of all our actions. It is up to us, however, to take the first step in that walk with God. In Luke 12, chapters, verses 31 to 32, we hear the words of Jesus the Christ, But seek his kingdom, and these things will be added unto you. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. So what is this kingdom that the Father is pleased to give us? Charles Fillmore says, The kingdom of heaven is the orderly adjustment of divine ideas in man's mind and body. As we prepare in this Lenten season to celebrate the miracle of Easter, the defeat of death, and the triumph of divine ideas over our flirting with the belief in the permanence of lack and limitation, we remind ourselves that God is bombarding us every moment of every day with all that we need to participate in this triumph, to make it our own. We have access to that orderly adjustment of divine ideas in our minds and bodies right here, right now. We have only to open our hearts to God's healing love and we shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. But we must choose to open our hearts. We must choose to seek the kingdom. God loves us too much to do this work for us. We must do it ourselves. It is among the many mysterious gifts of God that we are made to be creators of our own lives through the power of our will and intention. We can say yes or we can say no to the offer of the kingdom. And no matter what we say, God loves us unconditionally. It is the power of our intention, of our conscious yes, that enables that orderly adjustment of divine ideas to take over the direction of our lives. I say yes to God's offer of the kingdom. I say yes to God's offer of the kingdom. If you agree with this, would you affirm that with me? Together, I say yes to God's offer of the kingdom. Feel into what that yes reveals to us. Look into God's eyes and see the tender, joyous love that he has for us. Surrender to his love and feel divine ideas inhabiting every corner of our being. I say yes to God's offer of the kingdom. Say that with me one more time if you agree. Together, I say yes to God's offer of the kingdom. When I say yes, I become the disciple of the Christ and I participate in the resurrection. I feel myself dwelling in the kingdom of God. I become fully the child of God I was designed to be. All things are now possible to me through the Christ alive in me. I only have to say yes to the offer of the kingdom. Let us take a few moments now to dwell in the kingdom, to feel God's love caressing us, taking joy in our being, celebrating our oneness with his divine ideas in the silence.
Divine Presence, we thank you for the truth that all we have to do is say yes to your offer. And we step into the kingdom We experience the orderly adjustment of divine ideas in our minds and bodies, and we become one with you in consciousness. Thank you, God, for this amazing gift that you give to each of us, to all of your children, to be part of you forever. Amen.